New at 530, a 64-year-old woman is going to prison for breaking into houses, moving in, and then filing fraudulent documents claiming ownership. Court documents reveal that Katie Sherrod did this multiple times in what a county official calls a form of paper terrorism. So Mike Shell joins us now live from Hyde Park with the latest on this. Mike. Yeah, Megan, uh, Katie Sherrod, who is also known as Leah Yisrael, was sentenced to three years in prison on Wednesday for four criminal counts, including breaking and entering, forgery, attempted theft, and tampering with records. Prosecutors say she illegally tried to own a home in this secluded neighborhood in Hyde Park. This is the $2.7 million house that prosecutors say Sherrod tried to steal. Court documents show her most recent crime spree began in the fall of 2022 when she used a fake check to try to buy a BMW from a local dealership valued at more than $138,000. Sherrod pleaded guilty and was sentenced to 26 days in jail. We actually have uh, several case files on her. Um, had multiple dealings with her. Four months after the BMW scheme, Amberley Village Police say Sherrod used fake documents to secure this $710,000 house. Court documents say the false paperwork showed that she had the money but never wired it to the title company. She was found on the property without permission to be there. Um, at the time, we didn't understand the complete uh, magnitude of everything, so uh, she was warned and advised and sent on her way for trespassing. Lieutenant Tim Schmidt Gosling says Sherrod came back a few weeks later and had a locksmith with her. Officers arrested Sherrod for breaking and entering. Lieutenant says Sherrod came back to the house a third time about a month later. We got a call um, from one of the neighbors and we responded and she was found there again. Obvious signs where she had broken the locks again and uh, broke in. The lieutenant says Sherrod was arrested and charged once again with breaking and entering. There was obvious pry marks on the house and stuff and then she called the locksmith to change the locks so she would have access. If you're a homeowner, you take pride in owning your home and uh, it's scary that, that people can go this far and, and try to get your home illegally. Now, prosecutors say the owners of the home here in Hyde Park suffered psychological and economic harm because of what Sherrod did. Now, according to our media partners at the Enquirer, at her sentencing, Sherrod told the judge, quote, I got hold of some knowledge and I just did it. I wasn't aware of the consequences it could bring me, end quote. Live in Hyde Park, Mike Shell, Fox 19 Now.